If you go to Whitewater, then St. Paddy's Day might be your day. We hit the streets that now seem barren to find out what the day is all about. I am very excited to trap a leprechaun this year. It got away from me last year. Oh, my favorite St. Paddy's Day tradition is when I dye the beard orange and walk around and pretend to be a leprechaun. I plan on drinking some green beer with my friends, that's about it. The answers we got were not consistent with the legends we have all come to know. While drinking in the bar is what seems like a pastime, we knew we were still missing something. So once again we hit the streets, and with the bars lit, we knew we would find what we were looking for. <laughs> One of my buddies got uh, like five kegs or something, so I'm going to like chill over there. It's just going to be a drunk fest, basically. <laughs> Say at 10 a.m. we're going to my friend Conroy's, the keg race, our keg versus his keg, well, I guess it's his, both his kegs. Green versus gray team, we're green obviously. And then after that, obviously. I assume like Prairie Street, you know, because it'll be cracking. And then we're having a keg ourselves. And then just bar time, I assume. Bars, 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 bars. <laughs> yeah, St. Patrick's Day. Everyone, it's a giant party, everyone with chip face. Even though it's a nice fun holiday, everyone celebrates. Here, the not Irish. It seems like you don't need to be Irish to celebrate St. Paddy's Day. Just look 20 years ago, students line up to attend one of the many bar traditions. The bar known as TNT carried a corned beef hash and beer special, but that was 20 years ago. But a new bar is putting itself on the St. Paddy's Day map. Alright, so here's what happens. Uh, we got a deal at uh, Pumpers. You buy a shirt from 6 to noon drink for free, and then we got breakfast over there. Finally, exactly what we were looking for. It looks like the St. Paddy's Day spirit is still alive.